I am in my UiPath Studio and assuming that I am writing an automation to kill a process called Excel. I drag and drop an activity which is called kill process and in the process name in the double quotes I simply write Excel which means that when this automation will work it will kill the Excel. Now consider a scenario where I have to kill some other application. It can be Word, it can be SAP or any other application. How would we know the process name? It's absolutely simple. Go to the start menu, search for the software, right click on it, click on open file location. It should navigate to a shortcut of the software. Right click on it, go to the properties in the target scroll to the right and at the end you would say something which is called .exe. Just copy the first word before the .exe, do a control plus C, come back to UiPath, paste it here and this is your process name. This same applies to the shortcuts which are available on the desktop. For example, I want to kill the PowerPoint. So I simply go here, right click on the PowerPoint, click on the properties and if you see here at the end, it says power pnt.exe. Hit control plus C, come back to this one, paste it here and my job is done. So that is how we get the exe name to be used in the UiPath processes. More tips and tricks are available on the channel. Thank you for watching and happy automation. Mm -hmm.